Today we're going to look at understanding decimals. Decimals are another way of expressing the parts of a whole. Each place in a decimal is a multiple of a power of 10. So you probably already know this is the hundredths column, this is the tenths, this is the units. When we start moving this side of the decimal place, so this dot here is called the decimal point, or decimal, decimal, um, yeah, decimal point, this is going to be, so this was the units, this is now, we're looking at fractions. So this is one tenth, then we've got the hundredths column, so this is the tenths column, this is the hundredths column, this is the thousandths, and then we keep going down and down to smaller and smaller fractions. And each, each place is a multiple of a power of 10. So here, this, this number here, 517.364, is the same as 500 plus 10 plus 7 plus 3 tenths plus 6 hundredths plus 4 thousandths. So we can see that this is the multiple of a power of 10. The first is 5 lots of 100. <coughs> this is 1 lot of 10, 7 lots of 1, 7 units, 3 lots of 10, 1 tenth, 6 lots of 1 hundredth, and four lots of one thousandth. So you can see the pattern. As the decimal point moves, the, it's a different power of 10. So this is 10 squared, that's 10 to the power of one, 10 to the power of zero, 10 to the power of negative one, as they go down. So you can see the pattern as it moves down. So each of these decimal points, each of these decimal places has a different value. And they, each one goes up is 10 times the one before it, moving to the left, and the moving to the, to the right, it's 10 times smaller. So to convert a decimal to a fraction, if we've got, got a decimal uh, number, we want to convert it to a fraction, we first need to determine the place of the smallest part of the decimal. So here, this, this is the smallest part of the decimal, the smallest number, and the place there is the thousandths column, the thousandths. It then says, express the decimal as a fraction of that place's power of 10. So here it would be 4,000, so it would be 517,364 uh, thousandths. So here, for an example, if we've got 0 0.25, a bit more of a simple example, 0 0.25, the smallest place value here we've got is the hundredths, the hundredths. So, to express that as a fraction, we've got 25 hundredths. So it's 25 over 100, 25 hundredths. And we can simplify then, simplify if necessary. So we can simplify 25 hundredths to one quarter. So 0 0.25 is the same as one quarter. Then going back the other way to convert a fraction to a decimal, first we need to find an equivalent fraction for which the denominator is a power of 10. So here, for our fraction of one quarter, the denominator isn't a power of 10. But here, the denominator is a power of 10, it's 100. So you can tell a, a power of 10. A power of 10 is going to um, either be 10, 100, 1,000, um, a million. It's just going to be one with a number of zeros after it. That'll be a power of 10. Then express the numerator, so the numerator, whatever the numerator might be, uh, as a decimal using the place of the denominator. So this is saying hundredths. So that's, that would be 25 in the hundredths column. So here if we have three eighths, now here the denominator isn't a power of 10. We could try and get it to 100, but eight doesn't go evenly into 100, so we wouldn't be able to multiply up um, uh, evenly enough. But we can multiply it by 250 to get to uh, 1,000. 250 to get to uh, 1,000, sorry, not 250, uh, 125, 125. We can multiply it by 125 to get to 1,000 and do the same to the top and get 375. So that is 375 thousandths. So if we put the five in the thousandths column and then put the three and seven in front of it, we've got here 375 thousandths. That's how that can be read, 375 0.375. So just the first example, let's look at comparing some decimals. 
So compare the following decimals and place the correct inequality sign between them. So remember an inequality sign is greater than or less than. That's, that's what we're looking for here, greater than or less than. So here we've got 57.89342 and 57.89631. So we can see the only, they're, they're the same up until they get to the thousandths column. And in the thousandths column, we've got six and three. So this number here, this is, this is uh, where it, it deviates and becomes different, six and three. So this one's obviously bigger because six is larger than three. So that means we're going to be putting the, the, the uh, inequality sign, this is less than this number. So 57.89342 is less than 57.89631. For our second number here, these numbers only differ when we get to the hundredths column. The hundredths column. So this we've got five hundredths, and this one we've got four hundredths. So the difference there, this number here is going to be larger because this is five compared to four. So this number, 321.64498 is greater than 321.64598. Second example, convert the following decimals to fractions in their simplest form. So we've got 0 0.725 and 5.12. Then convert following fractions to decimals. So having a go at going um, one way and then the other. So here, 0 0.725, that's 725 thousandths, because we get the five is in the thousandths column. So 725 over a thousand, we can reduce that down to 29 over 40. Okay, so 20, 29 fortieths. 5.12, that's the same as five and 12 hundredths because we've got five whole numbers, because it's on the left-hand side of the decimal point, and uh, 12 hundredths there, one, two hundredths. And that can be reduced down, that can be um, made to simplest form as five and three twenty-fifths. Here we've got 239 hundredths. Now, if, if I've got 200 hundredths, that's two whole uh, numbers. So that's two wholes here, two units, and we've got 39 hundredths left over. 39 hundredths. So that's going to be 2 and 39 hundredths, so 2.39. And finally, D here, uh, 9 twenty-fifths. Now, it was easy here because we had a, a power of 10 as the denominator, but here we do not. We don't have a power of 10, so we need to find an equivalent fraction. So we can multiply the top and the bottom by 4, and that will yield uh, 100 on the, as the denominator. So multiplying the top by 4, we get 36 hundreds, so that's just 0 0.36.